Welcome to Can't Hardly Bake. Today we're going to hardly bake some banana bread. This recipe comes from my mom and it is really simple. It requires bananas, butter, sugar, flour, salt, eggs, milk, vinegar, baking soda, and today we're going to use some walnuts. We also need a 9x5 loaf pan. My oven's already at 350. We want it to be preheated before we even start this because this is gonna to come together super quickly in a food processor. Hello. In the food processor, we'll first add two very ripe bananas. Next, we'll add in one half cup of cubed unsalted butter. Once those two ingredients are in, we'll pop the top on our food processor and process this for one minute. Next, add in one and a half cups flour, three quarters cups of granulated sugar, two room temperature whole eggs, a quarter cup of milk, two teaspoons of vinegar or lemon juice, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. Now we'll process this for another 10 seconds. All right, so we have everything mixed up in our food processor. The only thing left to do is get it in our nine by five loaf pan. This has already been greased and I have some parchment paper just to help me take the loaf out when it's done. And then you can mix the nuts in to the batter itself. I'm going to sprinkle it on top because that's just the way I like it. And I'll also um, add in some sugar on top as well to give it a nice extra crunch. So I got my walnuts and my sugar on. This is gonna go in the oven now at 350 for 55 to 60 minutes. All right, so we'll see you back in about one hour. The banana bread has been baking for 55 minutes. So I'm just testing the doneness here by gently pressing on the top. If it springs back, then it's ready to take out. All right, so we took the bread out of the oven. We let it cool in the pan completely or almost completely. And as you can see, I didn't get that much height on this bread and I kind of panicked and asked my mom and she said that that's normal for this recipe. So we're gonna take this as a success. We'll go ahead and try it. I like to normally heat it up, toast it with some salted butter it's still pretty warm from the oven, so we got some warmth from, from the bread still. And we'll go ahead and give it a try. I haven't made this one in a couple years, but it's a pretty good recipe. And it seems pretty tender, so let's give it a taste. Mm. I know people don't like the word moist, but I really don't know any other way to describe this. It's incredibly moist and it's very delicious. And it has just the right amount of sweetness and their recipe is super easy. So even if you are scared of baking or not the best baker, I'm definitely not the best baker, you can definitely go ahead and give this a shot. If you have a food processor, it will come together in just a few minutes. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for joining me and I'm hoping to make some more videos. So. If you like what you see, if you like our content, you can go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks so much.
I don't know. We're going to have to cut some of that out.